This is the new EcoFlow River 2 Pro generator. It is an 800 watt generator and it can be charged up and powered by solar, car, or wall outlet. It has a 1600 watt X boost that allows it to power devices that are larger than 800 watts. This unit was sent over to me by EcoFlow and I will be doing the unboxing of it and my initial reviews of the unit. Level excitement. Oh, look what I got. After a week wondering why there is no FedEx updates, Finally, it is been delivered. Wow. It is the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Here is what came in the box. The manual, the wall charging cable, the car charging cable, which is XC60, and another cable that has 5521 that goes into these two holes. What I also had to get was this cable from Amazon. I'll put it in a link. It's Anderson Inputs and Outputs XT60 5521 Airplane. I'll only need to use these two. I have two solar panels. One is a Renogy that is mounted to the top of my cargo carrier. The other one is a Rock Pals that's folding. They connect into a parallel cable that outputs Anderson. Now, with this setup, I'll be able to use those two panels connected to this and then output to the XT60. So I connect the two panels together with the parallel cable or either one by itself and connect it in the back here where you see the XT60 port and the regular wall charger. So charging from the wall, I'll use this. Charging from the car, I'll use this. Charging from solar, also this. Let's turn it on. And it's at 28%. Basically what was expected, it ships at around 30%. So I'll have to get it charged up. I'll plug it into the wall and see how long it takes to get charged. So it's plugged in and charging. And you can see it says 52 minutes to charge. Wow, that input is serious at over 860 watts of input. Well, you can hear the fans running, but it has been 40 minutes and it's already 96% charged. This is pretty amazing. We are fully charged and that took from 20 8% to 100 took roughly 45, 50 minutes, not even the 52 that was on the screen. So now I'm going to set up the app. And as I open the EcoFlow app, it already recognizes the River 2. So I'm going to add it and then go through the steps of setting it up. The app is set up. Yes, I named it. Biscuits River 2 Pro because, well, that's my name. It's currently set up to show what the input and output is. The battery is 100%. And so since I'm not using anything right now, it's not going to show anything. If I go to the settings, it shows the name. I can change the input, what the power would be on input plugged in. And it really did go over 870 when I was looking. Um, charging speeds and X boost, which is a pretty cool feature. It's rated for 800 watts, but with the X boost on, it can actually power something that is up to 1600 watts. I can choose the discharge level. 
I can choose a charge level. I can choose how long before the screen times out. AC timeout is pretty cool because there's a parasitic draw on the AC ports if it's on. So I can tell it if, you know, nothing's being powered, it will shut off so that it doesn't run down all the battery. So I will get to using these things as soon as I start using the power station. But so far, so good. Today, I am testing the solar panel connected to the EcoFlow. I have a 100 watt solar panel. It's a Renogy flexible panel that's connected to the top of my car on my cargo carrier. And these wires here come down from on top there. It goes into a parallel connector here where I have a folding panel that connects to the other side and comes out into all of these connection points. I'm gonna re be replacing this cable with this cable so that I can get the input of the XT60. We've got the parallel cable. This end is going to the roof, to the Renogy flexible panel. This end can be connected to the Rock Pals folding solar panel, and it comes out into a single Anderson connection, which is now going into the XT60 port on the back of the power station. And at the moment you can see, oops, get some shadow there. We're getting 58 watts of input from the sun on a partly cloudy day. So that's not so bad. By the time I connect a second panel, it should double that input at least to about, let's say 120. So it will get charged with the sun while I'm out. The River 2 Pro comes with a car charger and that connects to the XT60 port on the back of the unit. I have connected it and you can see we're getting 101 watts of input, which is pretty darn good. The outlet is rated for 120 watt max. So this is the other way that it can be charged in the car while I drive can top up the unit. A wonderful friend let me borrow their bougie RV 59 quart fridge freezer. So I'm testing it here with the power station. I am using the 12 volt port because I'm during research say this is the better thing to use to power things versus the wall outlet port in terms of efficient power supply so that's what I'm going with today it has been plugged in here for about an hour I started off at 74 percent and we're down to 66 percent so not so bad it says 13 hours left powering the fridge this is a pretty cool setup the refrigerator can be powered either by wall plug, by car plug, and by solar. And it is actually the same size connection that the 5521 connection that comes out of EcoFlow. So I'm curious to see if I were to plug in that cable, if I can connect this to the input of the fridge and if it will work. But either way, this is working very well and a solid option for being able to power a fridge at a campsite. Now I'm sure this screen looks a little bit different. That's because I have plugged in the EcoFlow so it can be charged. It is still plugged in to the refrigerator here. So you can see I am getting 860 watts of input while it's outputting 29 watts. So it's up to 67, 68% and it should take about a half hour to get the full charge. So it's great to see that it is confirmed that the pass-through charging does work and it is getting powered while it is powering the refrigerator. Excellent news. If you look at the screen now, you'd see there is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I had issue trying to get the Bluetooth to connect. When I first set up the app on the phone, it automatically asked for my home Wi-Fi information and I entered that information. It looks like 
Wi-Fi overrides or supersedes Bluetooth connectivity. So as long as there's a Wi-Fi connection, like you're in the house and you have your phone, it would connect via Wi-Fi. If you are out of the house and you're not on your home Wi-Fi, it will do a direct Wi-Fi connection from the phone to the, the device. So what I did was I turned off everything on the phone. I put the phone into airplane mode and then I turned on Bluetooth only and the Bluetooth signal turned up. So if you are having issues connecting Bluetooth, it's because the Wi-Fi is taking precedence. Keep an eye out for more videos as I will be testing it with other appliances around my house and when I go camping. Check out the description below for links to the EcoFlow River 2 Pro on the EcoFlow website as well as on Amazon. Also in the description is a code for an extra 8% off on top of the current sale prices for Prime Day. The code works on both Amazon and EcoFlow's websites. Here's another bonus. There's an EcoFlow group on Facebook. If you join that group and mention this video, you'd be entered into a raffle to win some prizes. The group link is below.